morning. Well, we're starting out with more clouds across the area this morning. We have a little bit of patchy fog, not quite as much as what we saw yesterday, but still could run into uh, some of that patchy fog on your morning drive. Now, cloudy skies are going to be a fixture here today. With the cold front tracking closer to the region, it will be bringing in more rain by late morning. We're starting to see some of those showers move into eastern Tennessee. And with the extra cloud cover overnight, it kept those temperatures warmer than average. We're at 47 in Gastonia, 43 right now in Albemarle, 44 for you in Statesville. Now looking off towards the west, we do have those showers that are creeping into northern Georgia and eastern Tennessee. We got a cold front that is helping to push it all of this wet weather off towards the east and it's pulling in some of the remnants here of Sarah out of the Gulf. So we're seeing more of that moisture surge across parts of the uh, goal of the, our Gulf Coast states here with a heavier rain through Louisiana and into Mississippi. Now we're not going to see quite as heavy of rain as what they're expecting here throughout uh, parts of the deep south, but for us in the Carolinas, we will see some of those showers uh, begin by late morning and continue through the afternoon. About a quarter of an inch to half an inch total is what we'll see through the day today. Overnight into early Wednesday, we will see more of those showers track across the area, but once that cold front passes through, we are going to see those winds pick up and transition out of the northwest, and that's going to be bringing in some much colder air. Blustery across the mountains uh, heading into Thursday with those winds out of the northwest here gusting up to 40 even 50 miles per hour that along with the, some of that moisture still hanging around will lead to some snow for the higher elevations could see a couple of inches across some of the highest peaks here above 3500 feet now south of the mountains into some of the valleys could see some flurries but no accumulation expected and not going to be seeing any of that snow although it will feel uh, very cold across the Piedmont through the day Thursday and into Friday now projected snowfall totals here uh, right now now looking to see anywhere from up to an inch towards Boone and Blowing Rock and for some of those higher elevations, we're talking above 4,500 feet. This is where we could see uh, three to four inches of snowfall stack up. Uh, those feels like temperatures are also going to be uh, changing though. When we head into uh, the day Wednesday, as that cold front tracks through the area, we'll see ahead of that temperatures warming into the low 70s. But once that front passes through, those temperatures going to drop fast. Thursday morning, teens and 20s for the mountains is how it will feel across the Piedmont. It's going to be feeling like the 30s and as we move into Friday, the coldest day here of the week got to widespread teens and 20s with those wind chills heading out the door and your daytime highs will remain below average only topping out in the low 50s. Now high pressure is going to be filling in for the weekend that will help those temperatures recover getting closer to those seasonable highs in the upper 50s for Saturday and Sunday afternoon, but you'll still need to layer up heading out the door here for the morning as those temperatures will remain chilly in the mid 30s. As we move into early next week, temperatures will be getting back above average with highs topping out in the mid 60s. That's your latest weather wise seven day forecast.